Deep in the outback, rising from vast open plains, stands a natural wonder carved out of this landscape over millennia. The Jump Up is a place of majesty, mystery, magic, and now, music. Not far from Winton, the Australian Age of Dinosaurs Museum was transformed for a truly special twilight performance. It's hard to actually comprehend you know, the age of the area that you're standing in and what it's gone through. And to have the music, you know, sounding out across this incredible land, it's a moment in my life that I will absolutely treasure. And as the sun slowly dipped below that seemingly endless horizon, the stage was set for a serenade under the stars. Acclaimed conductor Vanessa Scammell and camerata Queensland's Chamber Orchestra transporting their audience as the voices of some of Australia's leading performing artists cut through the outback air. Teddy Tahu Roads booming across the bush. When we developed the program, we really wanted people to be moved by the sheer beauty of the music, to be exhilarated, to weep, to think, and to be just completely overjoyed. And Dark Sky Serenade delivered. Oh, that was absolutely brilliant. Just uplifting and as magic as the sunset and as the stars above. You couldn't better it, could you? It was just absolutely glorious. No words to describe how amazing that was, yeah. really. As the sun went down, the stars came up and the silhouette of the orchestra it was just extraordinary. One of eight performances across five communities and iconic locations for Opera Queensland's first festival of outback opera funded under the Year of Outback Tourism Events Program. The festival is something that we put together because part of Opera Queensland's mission is to bring communities together wherever they are. Our stage is the whole of Queensland and that's where we want to be performing. From the tarmac in Longreach to Winton's Main Street outside the Waltzing Matilda Centre. Opera, country music, under the stars, going between one and the other, it was unbelievable. You'll come with me. Singing some Banjo Patterson in front of a statue of Banjo Patterson, like it's, yeah, it's pretty iconic and very exciting. And at the North Gregory Hotel, where Banjo first recited that fabled poem, a special rendition for Sing, Sing, Sing. Hearing 200 people, whether they be Winton locals or tourists, belt that out at the back of that hotel is an incredibly special experience. Over the eight day festival, hundreds came to witness opera out of its natural habitat. It attracts tourists and it's just something that you would normally see in Winton that you might have to go to the cities to see, so it's just a win-win for everybody. Just completely authentically surprised, um, enamoured. Nobody claps as hard as uh, the people in the bush, to be completely honest. Locals alongside travellers who came from far and wide, some even crossing borders, just to be there. I said to my friend, uh, you like opera? We're in Alice Springs at the time. Would you like to come to this? And we just went, yeah, let's try and get tickets. Been travelling down with a motor home and we just happened to be in Winton tonight and found out it was on. It's just like a gift from God, actually. It was just an amazing experience. An experience they hope will be back in the outback before long. If you want the shivers up and down the spine and the tears in the eyes, you've got to be here. We may be an opera company. Opera may be a 430-year-old art form out of Italy, but it's, it's still pertinent in these communities. And Queenslanders want to engage. They want to be entertained. They want to come out and have some fun. And that's what this is all about. And as this rugged landscape falls silent once more, the call for an encore grows.